Hello and welcome back to the channel and to another theme park vlog where we today we are at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Not to ride the big rides though, we're here to do the Nickelodeon land because we are with Theo. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, oh you've got a trimmed haircut today, so looking extremely smart uh, for today. You excited aren't you? Yeah. So Theo didn't actually know we were coming here until we ended up collecting our tickets, which is from the White Tower just behind us here. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't actually until he got a wristband on until I told him we were going to the Pleasure Beach. He even asked me inside the building if we're going to the Pleasure Beach, and I said no. Uh, so, fooled you. <laughs> but you're very excited, aren't you? Yeah. And you're even wearing a Paw Patrol top um, for the occasion today, which I purposely did, and he still didn't click. Uh, hopefully you're going to meet your favourite, who's Marshall, is that right? Chase yeah. and Marshall is your favourite, isn't it? Yeah. So the park is opened uh, 11 till 5 today. Um, and we've collected our tickets already, the tickets we can collect from 10. Um, beautiful weather. Uh, hopefully it'll stay like this most of the day. Uh, it's going to be raining a bit later, so hopefully um, by the time it closes, because it's going to be about 5 o'clock when it starts raining. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to roll the intro and we're going to get inside, aren't we? Let's get going, Theo. Well, I stood in the wrong place. So we're now inside the park, ready to do Nickelodeon Land, which is just behind us here. Uh, after we've done Nickelodeon Land, we're gonna go around the park to do the rides that Theo can go on. For those who are not too sure what height he is, I'm just gonna put an image just here, which just shows the height that Theo is. Now, this is from a few weeks ago, when was it Fantasy Island? Uh, but he is still about that height, but we will double measure when we're here, just to double check he's not grown since then. Um, but there's a couple of rides in Nickelodeon Land you can't go on, and I know that is the Airbender and uh, Nick Street, which is just to the side of us there. The other one that I'm not too sure if you can go on just yet is the SpongeBob Splash Bash, uh, which was 1.1, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but we'll find that out later. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to go on that uh, as well. Um, for those who are not familiar with the channel, um, we are a new channel for 2019. Uh, if you've not already done so, please do subscribe to the channel. We've got so much coming up in the, uh, well, throughout the summer this year and throughout the rest of the year as well. Also, do check out uh, some of the videos that I've already made uh, this year. We do theme parks, fun fairs, uh, we've also done a couple of arcade vlogs as well as family vlogs, but do check out the content that I've got. Right, so, Theo, shall we get going? What ride do you want to go on first? Coaster. What's going on the coaster rides? So we're going to get going and we're going to get as much content as possible for you all there. So I hope you enjoy the vlog. Let's get going. So this is everything in Nickelodeon land as I pan round to the other side. There's quite a lot in here. Uh, however, they haven't really brought any new rides in the last few years in here, which is slightly surprising, but the park's quite small, so it is a bit of a struggle to get anything in. I suppose they would really need to um, get rid of rides to be able to change them. Uh, but there's a lot of rides that used to be here from when it was uh, Beaver Creek, such as Log Flume, which is just here to our side. Uh, that's been here for years. Uh, it's now Rugrats Lost River. Obviously, the roller coaster that you can just see, that's orange over there. Uh, that used to be the roller coaster, but it's now the Nickelodeon Streak. Oh, it's school season. <laughs> Loads of kids. <laughs> uh, just over there, you can see the Blue Flyer, which is what used to be the Zipper Dipper. Um, which I think is what Theo wants to go on first, but obviously some rides don't open till uh, il well, 12. Yeah, but I can just see this one is open 11, so we're going to go over to Blue Flyer.
So Theo, how was the blue flyer? Good. Good? You like the blue flyer, don't you? So that was the blue flyer, which is just over there next to Nick Streak. It's the blue one, which is basically a baby roller coaster that's wooden, which is quite a classic. However, if you're tall and you want to go on with him, be prepared to be crammed in because you haven't got any room for yourself. Whilst we're here, we're passing the entertainment section and it tells us here who's appearing, which is at 12 o'clock. It's uh, Chase. Theo, Chase is out at 12 o'clock. What? Chase is out at 12. So hopefully we'll get to catch him later. Unfortunately, Marshall is on an adventure. Marshall and Chase. Right, let's, let's uh, go on the next ride. Should we go on this one? advantage that you've got here is you don't actually have to go on every ride with them. Uh, the ride that he's just gone on behind me is for 102 centimetres, so 1.02 I think it was. So he's big enough to go on this ride on his own. Hello Theo. You like that? This way. So, all these three now, you transport you into Steve Bonneman's Bud Bug, the New York Sewers with our Push. channels. Push and it. Of course, we will transport you into a bench bay next to the tower. We are on it now. We've got some more lines. So, that's ride number four over, and we've been here half an hour. Getting on these rides, thick and fast, aren't we, today? So, what's your next ride? I believe it's this. So this is ride number five, which is fairy cabs from the fairy, fairly odd parents. I've not seen that show in years. And it's quite interactive where you go up and down on it by pressing a button. So uh, can't do one ride on this because you're not allowed mobile phones. So uh, hopefully I'll get you a bit of off ride footage of this one. is absolutely loving it. This one is 1.07, which is bang on for to go on his own. So you have to sort of uh, second guess what he's allowed to go on on his own. It's good to see he can go on this one on his own because this will bloody hurt me. But well, that's uh, order up.
so so far we've probably been on about seven or eight rides i've actually lost count um weather is absolutely roasting which he did say it was going to be um so we're going to try and go on this right now but he's uh not in having any of it so you see this now this is what he's like when he goes on rides for the first time i bet yeah it will come off he'll be loving it so let's go and find out sat at the back as well and absolutely drenched so that was a surprise wasn't it yeah. and I'm wet. so as you can see I'm absolutely drenched as well we were sat at the back of that boat and um, yeah uh, that's probably the wettest I've ever been on that road it's the same with you isn't it you've been on it before we didn't get yeah. that wet as much as that last time uh, so yeah it was little and then it came from big yeah and there was a surprise halfway around when a bit of water squirted the side of the boat yeah, so uh, it's not like Valhalla, but still. Right, what should we do now? Can we go on? Right, the shop's open now, so we're going to have a take a look at the shop that they've got here. This is just a brief look around the shop that they've got here, which is full of Nickelodeon merchandise. From Pub Trolls, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Spongebob Lots in here So what did you get from the shop Theo? And the flat yard We've got a collection of these now haven't we? And on here Basically you can get their autographs uh, By getting them signed By all the characters that Nickelodeon and the Pleasure Beach has And all uh, And I was told that if you fill every single one you get a free badge Not too sure what the badge is though And there's no way we're going to fill all that Because we're only here for today well, that's what you've got, isn't it? Right, let's go. Unfortunately, due to copyright, I can't really film on here because it's Dora the Explorer. However, it's a little water ride for kids, so I'll give you sort of insight of what this ride is. Here. So, he is actually tall enough to go on this, which is. I'm sure they've changed this because it used to be taller than that, but I could be wrong. But he has to go on with me. So, SpongeBob Splash Bash, which is the ride we're about to go on, is a, technically a water ride, but it's not a water ride. Uh, you have cannons where splash people uh, on and off ride. So, people off ride can actually get you as well. Uh, and there's no charge for that. Uh, just stay to our side. Um, you do get very, very wet on this because there's literally nowhere to hide. Uh, so we'll see how wet we come off this one. I reckon we'll come off this wetter than we will have done on Lovely. You can see the little cabins. And these are the cannons. We can see what's going to happen here. We'll see you after the ride. So that was the outcome of the ride. Look how wet you are. Are you wetter than you were on the log flume? Yeah. We're shooting this guy here. He's quite wet. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people coming off wet. You got absolutely blasted by someone, didn't you? Right in the face. It's so funny to see. These paws uphold the laws. No job is too big. No puff is too small. Boys and girls, give yourselves a round of applause. Well done, everyone. So. What we're going to do, we're going to move the board to the side and if you'd like a photo of Chase, come over to me. We'll start off a little queue and then you can get a photo. Oh, what's on his t-shirt, Chase? Oh my goodness, is it you? <laughs> is it? Oh, yeah. Give us a smile. Marshall and Rubble. Very nice. Okay. There we go. You're going to be behind wall? Beautiful. Yes. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> So that completes Nickelodeon Land. We've been on all the rides in Nickelodeon Part 2, which was the one right behind us, which is Avatar Airbender and uh, Nickelodeon Streak. Um, I think it's 1.2 behind me and 1.2 for Nick Streak, so it's not that far off. Um, you don't have to be that tall to go in it. 
Uh, so they're the two rides we're going to be on. But now, because we're in the Nickelodeon line, we're going to go around the park itself now, aren't we? Uh, we're going to head over up in this direction here. You might just be able to see uh, Walton and Gromit up there. Uh, that's one of the rides we're going to go on to. Uh, we're going to play, do the planes, the ghost train, river caves. And that's Wonderland. Uh, if he lets me. Uh, he did have a boo, boo about going on the log flume. But he liked the log flume in the end, yeah. didn't you? So far, what is your favourite ride for today? Uh, the log flume, the one that he cried about going on. Yeah. And you and got I to meet. Yeah, in a minute. And we got to meet Chase as well, didn't we? Yeah. He's right over there. And he gave him a high paw and a cuddle. He loved your t-shirt. Right. So let's carry on with the adventures. He's like me when I get. So we're now going to go on to the Wallace and Gromit Thrillomatic, a riveting ride. A few years old now, been here replacing the gold mine. And look who's out. Do you want to go say hi to him? So we've both just had our photos with um, Wallace, which is quite funny. Um, you get props and everything. Um, the, the, the pictures are quite expensive, but if you look at the deals that they have, it's not actually too bad. You are, mate. Yeah. So next ride is this. So that was a really good ride, actually. Everything was actually working in it, um, which makes the experience even better. The fact you can smell bread in there at one of the points is amazing. And there was a few jump scares in there, which frightened you, didn't they? There was a rabbit that scared you, and the what was it? A bang? Yeah. Where you shot the rabbits, or tried to shoot the rabbits. Um, yeah, really good ride. Uh, the fact that everything was working made it even better. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for that. So we're moving on around the park now as we go on to the north side of the park. It is now, what time is it? Quarter to one. So it's not even busy. It's a, a Monday, it's in June, really good weather. There's only a few schools around, but you know, every ride we've got straight onto, which is fantastic. Uh, like I said, we're not going on the big rides, so I don't know what the queues are like everywhere else. Well now it's time to explore the north side of the park which has the planes, that's the Wonderland, the ghost train and the uh, river caves which we'll probably be going on after. Uh, we're heading this way and we'll go on Alice's Wonderland next. Ticked off, which was Alice in Wonderland, which was a good ride you enjoyed, didn't you, Theo? Um, he's mesmerised by all the roller coasters on here. You can see Grand National just going up behind us, uh, but uh, not big enough to go on it yet, are you? Too small. So that's Alice in Wonderland. We're, we were going to go on the planes, but they've just started going round, and they take quite a long time to go start and then start and so on. So I thought we'd just come over here first. Um, so yeah. Weather's still holding off nicely, kind of, because it's cloudy over there. So this is of course the oldest ride on the park, dating back over 120 years. What about this one? Yeah, we'll go on this one. And it is still going on the park today. Obviously it's not quite the same as what it was back then, but all the frame and structure behind me here is the original. And the cogs and everything in the basement underneath where the shop is. However, you can't view that anymore, you used to be able to, unless they've revealed it. So we'll have a look in the shop when we leave and come out of the ride. But we are now on the planes. Ready for takeoff. Yeah, 
There we go, back into land. Very windy, it's not actually windy, but when you're up there and going as fast as you're going, it feels like it's blowing a gale. Yes. Amazing. So you can actually buy authentic ride parts um, from old rides. That's from Infusion, River Caves, and inside you can buy other things. You just look there, you see a Pepsi Max thing. They're flags, old flags from the theme park. Amazing. So that's the ghost train that we've just been on. Um, still probably one of the best uh, ghost trains. Yes, probably still one of the best ghost trains probably in the UK. Although I've not really been on many. Definitely better than any of the travelling fairs I've been on to. Um, just a few things weren't working in there that just sort of spoil it a little bit. I think the fact that you got the enjoyment of the coast a bit where it drops and then the sections that come out here uh, where you can see what we're out now. Uh, it's quite an enjoyable one. I um, don't know how Theo felt. You thought it was a bit scary, didn't you? Yeah, you thought it was a bit spooky. Uh, so I convinced him by going round. The ghost train by going, that's not scary. That's not scary. And he followed through and he enjoyed it in the end. Um, probably not ideal for young ones because it can be a bit scary in certain places. But that is the ghost train. Um, we're going to head over now to the river caves. Uh, and then we're going to have a little walk around the uh, park to see if I've missed anything because I'm pretty sure that's everything uh, that we can go on. But, uh, oh, we haven't been on a train. Uh, we might go to the maze as well. But we'll also take a few uh, videos of other rides in the park that we're not actually doing today, but we'll do that slightly later. We're going to move on to the next ride now, aren't we? Yeah. Let's go. So that was the River Caves and in my mind I'm thinking I wonder how long this ride is actually going to stay here for because since the Wild Most one uh, just behind us here there's been developments to this side of the park as well uh, I don't know if they're just refurbing the arcade uh, but there's been a lot of rumours and speculations about what's happening in the future and my thought is River Caves and the dome uh, area days are probably numbered and potentially make way for a new ride which would also involve that old black pole not necessarily a ride but someone speculated that could be a queue line uh, interesting to think about what that could be um, it's just started raining <laughs> the clouds are finally here uh, I did say it started raining about five but it is half past one fun um, but it's been really warm uh, so it's not too bad hopefully it's just a little shower um, we're going to have a look round. One thing we did I forget, forget to mention was the cars, uh, which are down here. So we're going to have a look, see if they're open. Unfortunately, it's closed today. Um, it's a really good ride, this. Basically, it's, you drive your own car around a circuit, uh, and you actually have complete control, uh, steering and pedalling. And I remember it back in the day when it was uh, petrol or diesel and you literally drove your own car. Except back then they didn't have sensors on them so you could literally ram in the back of other cars. Um, but it's a bit sad that it's not open today but never mind. Alright. Well, 
That's a good start, isn't it, Theo? You can go under it, I can't. Let's go! Inside the Chinese puzzle maze right now, we've managed to get to this point here. Um, but I absolutely have no idea how to get out of here. So this could be rather fun. Get me. It is fun, isn't it? So let's keep going. Oh well, we made it out of the maze. It wasn't actually as difficult as I was expecting. Not done it in so long. I could not remember how to get out of there. Um, yeah, that's fun. So we're just having a mooch around now because we've done like main rides now. Um, we haven't done the train yet, which is just behind us here. However, it's not in the station, so we're going to come back to that in a minute. Um, can't believe these bears are still here. They were there when I was little. Um, nostalgia is best. And just down there is the Laughing Clown, which is also still going. Um, there is a charge to watch that go around, but I think it's a charitable one, which is quite worth. I think it's 20p. Um, but over here is a, a um, learning garden, or what I think is a sensory. So we're going to have a check out of that and see what is in that sensory garden. Learning garden. So this is the sensory garden, or learning garden as they call it. Um, so we'll just have a little look round of what's here. Um, Bradley and Bella was the um, old mascots of the Pleasure Beach. Ah, there he is, Bradley Beaver. Uh, they were the mascots of the Beaver Creek before it was Nickelodeon land. They are still here. They have little rides as well. Come on, mate. Uh, and the old log flume, which would have been from the old log flume, which was now in Fusion. This is completely free to do. Uh, so if you're just paying to come into the park, uh, you can do this. There's a few rides like that. The train is one of them as is the maze. Uh, monorail used to be part of it, but um, monorail's not here anymore, which is a shame. Oh, who's that? <laughs> yeah, I can. They just saw me as well then. Uh, not a lot down here. But it's good to see what they've got growing. So that's what's on here.
So there's the new Boulevard Hotel opening very soon this year. They're still doing some works. Uh, but the big one's had a lot of downtime lately, uh, mainly due to the building a bit, but it's down, down, down today. And Big Blue is still going strong on the side. So obviously being a successful investment in the years for it to have now a sister hotel. That comes to the end of the train. There's no one on this. There's one person sat out the back behind us. Uh, but other than that, a uh, very quiet day. That concludes the end of the uh, train tour. Which is also part of your entry ticket. So if you're just paying on entry, you don't actually need a wristband for this. No one can come on this. Not working, mate. Right? Of course, it wouldn't be a PT Vlogs UK vlog without showing you what else is in the park that we're not going to go on today. So here they are.
Well, I stood in the wrong place. So that's all we've got time for on our vlog here today at the Pleasure Beach and Nickelodeon Land. It's been an awesome day here. Uh, the weather's held out and it stopped raining eventually. But it's been an awesome day. And obviously we got asked Theo what his favourite ride of the day was. He did say earlier that it was the log flume, uh, which I find hard to believe. But what was your favourite ride today? Uh, the coaster. The coaster? Yeah, oh, the blue one? Yeah. When the blue get, coaster? Yeah, but when you get through there. Oh, through the tunnel? Yeah. So, yeah, his favourite ride was the coaster. Um, did it scare you? <laughs> the favourite ride for him was the coaster. Um, oh, I, I don't really know. I can't really comment what my favourite ride would have been. Uh, obviously, I'd love to have got an icon. I've been on it this year and it's been amazing. My favourite place to be on that is the bar. Uh, and I'll always stand by that. Um, but for today, you know, I've enjoyed myself with Theo. And that's what it's all about. And you got to meet Chase, didn't you? Yeah, and an amazing photo, which I'm just going to put here. That's his photo that we got with there, uh, which you would have seen on the video, but the photo is epic, I think it's amazing. And at some point I'll probably get um, created and put uh, in one of his memory boxes. Um, if you haven't already, uh, do subscribe to the channel and take a look at all the other videos that we've done. Uh, give us a comment, let us know what you found, the, how you found the vlog today. Uh, you may notice we've done it slightly different, we've talked more in this vlog, made it more enjoyable, hopefully, in that part. Um, and more interaction with Theo. Give uh, see what Theo thought of Nickelodeon Land. Um, but yeah, uh, over that. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope to see you all again soon. We have uh, a lot planned in the next few weeks as I'm on annual leave uh, next week. So we've got so much planned, and I can't wait to do it all with Theo. And Megan's going to be with us on a lot of them as well. So from myself and Theo, come over here, you. It's goodbye from both of us. We'll see Bye. you on the next video. Bye.